Kenwood's brand new DDX775BH isn't in their Exelon line, but it boasts some pretty cool new tech that makes the DDX line unique on its own. This double DIN is a 7 inch clear resistive DVD CD receiver with built in Bluetooth and HD radio. But its newest feature is Weblink, creating a portal to apps like Waze, YouTube, Yelp, music and weather all displayed and controlled at the stereo this is kenwood's answer to compete with carplay and android auto without the royalties download kenwood's weblink app on your phone it's free it works with both ios and android devices via a usb connection once in the weblink source and plugged into the usb a handful of apps come up. Literally only a handful. It's not compatible with much. With our Galaxy S9, we get access to YouTube, Waze, Media Player, which is the phone stored music, Yelp, and Weather. YouTube, Waze, and Yelp need to be downloaded onto your phone first. You don't need a pre-existing weather app and music just takes your stored libraries. The design looked like a folder from Windows 98 with optional metallic background. Its YouTube feature seemed a little hard to navigate almost like it was in a beta phase. There are categories for videos to select, which didn't exactly seem to lead to exactly what I expected. Film and animation ended up just showing me popular vloggers and a trailer for a Bollywood movie. You can also search for videos with text, but there are no filters for ordering them. And for a video platform designed to show as much content to you as possible, finding videos is a slow process from the stereo. But video playback looked pretty good. I did like the Media Player Music app. It uses the full album artwork for whatever is playing. Yelp was solid too. Great for checking places out on the go, reading reviews. Plus, you can open up directions directly from it to Google Maps or Waze. Waze works with a web link and displays onto the stereo. However, it is slightly cropped on the receiver's screen. Other than that, it works well. And again, you also get local weather. I give Weblink a B minus C plus rating, but this rating is likely to go up with future firmware releases. Another new feature is in the display. The home screen allows you to move the layout of sources around like apps on a smartphone. The stereo features two camera inputs, one for backup and one for front camera. Kenwood removed the 3.5mm iPod AV input on the rear of the stereo. We're not sure why it's a growing trend for manufacturers to keep removing inputs. So besides using the backup camera or front camera input, there are no audio or video inputs on this stereo. Screen mirroring is virtually impossible besides using one of those camera inputs, which don't allow audio. The display is motorized and offers six angle options. It is not detachable, but it opens up to reveal the disc slot. Although it's not an HD screen, DVD still look great on the clear resistive screen. Bluetooth lets you avoid those costly texting while driving tickets and lets you practice hands-free calling and go through your phone book. You can also wirelessly stream music from your libraries and music apps to the radio from your mobile device. Simply connect your iPhone with USB for auto Bluetooth pairing. The DDX775BH also offers dual phone connection, so you don't have to fight over whose playlist is best. The built-in HD radio provides CD quality audio from your favorite stations. 
You can connect your smartphone via USB to enable a charge to your phone, plus get access to your music and app control over Pandora and Spotify. Each app has their own source on the stereo. For Android users, the USB provides Android Rapid Charge and Android Music Playback. USB displays album artwork onto the radio and offers higher quality audio, as opposed to compressed Bluetooth audio. Installing the iDialing Maestro RR integrates your vehicle with factory amplified audio systems like Bose and Infinity, integrates factory steering wheel controls, satellite radio, and USB. It also adds OBD2 support with vehicle information, allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. For vehicles that don't need the Maestro RR, the DDX775BH is steering wheel control ready with the ASWC1 universal interface. The stereo is also Sirius XM ready with the SXV300 V1 tuner. Links for all are in the bio. A USB thumb drive adds the ability to display photos and videos on the radio as well as music files. For audio, the radio is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC files. And for video is compatible with MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264 files, as well as JPEG images. The keys have variable color illumination to set to any color you want or use the scan option. Plus select a preset background or customize it by uploading one yourself with a thumb drive. Audio customization allows you to select your vehicle type and speakers to adjust the high pass and low pass filters of the front, rear, and subwoofers. The customizable 13-band EQ offers several preset options, plus listening position and digital time alignment, fader and balance position, volume offset, and sound effects. The connections in the back include wiring harness for power ground and speakers, Sirius XM, iDialing Maestro, Bluetooth microphone, video output, backup camera, three sets of 4-volt preamp outputs for front, rear, or subwoofer, radio antenna, USB pigtail, and front camera pigtail. The stereo comes with a Bluetooth microphone, a wiring harness, and parking brake extension. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links are in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.